What's up, everybody? Denver Gamer back here for another Hacking the Nintendo Wii for Dummies tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Genesis Plus GX. This emulator plays Sega Master System, SG-1000, uh, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, and Game Gear. It's amazing, so let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open up our SD card and take a look at where we've gotten so far. This is everything we've done. And let's go into the apps real quick. All our channel installers for those first three emulators, I'm gonna go ahead and delete those because I wanna keep my um, SD card nice and clean. So delete, click yes, because we're not gonna need them again. We already installed them on the Wii. And looking good, just exit out here and we're gonna go onto the internet and get the emulator. So link in the description, click on that. That'll take you to the Genesis Plus emulator. And you can see here, just by the Wii Brew guys who are hosting uh, the webpage. It's kind of a perfect time to do this, by the way, because uh, these guys um, have gotten all the bugs out. So there you can see uh, Mega CD emulation. You will need some extra files to play Sega CD games. We will get into that a little bit later, but they're called BIOS files. Further down the page, you can see here, this is all the controls to so navigate the emulator. A little bit of media there and your change log. And this shows all the updates for every version that's been released. So let's go ahead and get the most current version of the emulator. You will click on the 1.7.5 link right there. Go ahead and download it. and go ahead and open it up in 7-zip. You see a lot of files there, text files, history, uh, version history, README. The README has actually got a lot of information that you might like, but all we're gonna need is actually the apps folder on this. Um, there's a couple um, files for the GameCube and uh, it's also a Wii file if you wanna emulate it a different way, but we're using the Homebrew channel. So go ahead and extract that apps uh, folder to your SD card. And on my computer, it is the G drive where I plug my SD card into it. So it comes up as a G drive on my computer. And extract that to the root menu and close. So now let's take a look. As you can see, there's no Genesis Plus directory to hold the content, but the, em the emulator is in there in the apps folder. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to plug it into our Wii and it's going to create its own folder and all the little folders it needs and a config file and all this stuff. Um, and it only takes a second. But before we do that, let's hop online and show you where to get your ROMs. And like I say in every video, I just use Google. So let's open up a web page. And we will search for Streets of Rage 3 ROM. Select Streets of Rage 3 ROM there. And there you go. We've got all these different ROM sites that uh, just have tons of ROMs on them. Look for a Snatcher ROM to show you again. Anything you want, just use Google, honestly. You can also Google ROM set for complete ROM sets for the entire system. Okay, let's hop on over to the Wii and get this thing prepped. Okay, go ahead and get into your homebrew channel. Select start. And we're going to go to the emulator this way. We do not have a channel forwarder yet. That'll be in a later episode. Because they're going to get a little more complicated. Go ahead and select the Genesis Plus GX and then hit load. Press A to continue, and A button to continue. This is your Sega emulator. You can see all the different uh, systems there. Mega Drive is, of course, Sega Genesis. You got your options. I know I'm kind of running through this quick, but all we needed to do was open this um, menu up. We're going to exit out. Literally go right back to your computer. That's all you need to do. You just need to open it once, and I'll see you on the computer. And we are back, so let's open up our SD card. 
and you can see it created a little Genesis Plus folder, or Gen Plus, for the content. You can see you have your BIOS folder, and uh, we will need to create a ROMs folder, so let's go ahead and do that now, actually. Let's go New, Folder, put ROMs. Okay, so we'll organize those and go through them. The BIOS folder, that stands for Basic Input Output System. That's basically computing language telling the Sega CD what to do. Next, we will have the Cheats folder, pretty self-explanatory. That's for Game Genie codes and stuff like that. Next is the Lock-On folder, that's for the Sonic & Knuckles game. And ROMs, Saves, and Snaps. Snaps is for your cover art. Let's go into ROMs. We're going to create all of our folders here. So go ahead and click uh, New Folder, and do a Sega Genesis folder. I like to do Sega CD, Master System, SG-1000, and Game Gear for my file names. But you can really name them whatever you want to in this folder. Uh, don't really mess with the other folders. They have little codes like GG is Game Gear and CD is Sega CD. The only file names you really want to mess with are in the ROMs folder. So let's go ahead and burn through this real quick. Now don't forget, if you want to play Sega CD games, you're going to have to go out and find the BIOS files for them. And here they are on the screen. Go out and find those files. I'll see if I can find you guys a link. But here we go. We have all of our folders done there. Now I, of course, went and downloaded the ROMs we're going to need. And I got one for each system. So go back in here to ROMs. And I will open up here this file on my desktop to make life easier. Let's get that open. And you can see here that all these files are going to have a little different extension on them. Uh, SG for the SG-1000, SMS for Sega Master System, GG for Game Gear. And actually the Sega CD and Genesis have bin files, so I guess you are going to have to pay attention to which one is which when you're doing this. If you put them in the wrong folder, it's not going to play. So we're going to drag our files to the appropriate folder. You know, Streets of Rage 3 goes to Sega Genesis. And with the Game Gear game where it goes, same with Master System and the SG-1000. Now for the Sega CD game, I'm going to go ahead and drag that into its folder. And up there you can see I have the BIOS folder, and that has the three BIOS files I need for European, Japanese, and USA Sega CD region games. So right after this, we are going to open the BIOS folder on our SD card, and then we will open the BIOS folder on our computer where we have them stored, and we'll transfer those over as well. And I'm simply just gonna drag and drop the three BIOS uh, files into their folder that they need to go into. So it looks like we have all of the hard work done here. Go ahead and exit out. Everything's looking clean, good, and ready to go. We're going to hop on over to the Wii and, uh, well, play some games. And we're back, and like I said before, we're not going to install a channel today. It's a little more complicated with the Genesis Plus channel. So we're just going to go into the emulator through the Homebrew channel. Go ahead and start it. And I'm going to take you for a quick tour around this thing, okay? Just A to continue, and we're going to go to Load Game when this comes up. So hit Load Game. Select Mega Drive first. And you can see we're on our root menu of our SD card. And if you ever get lost, Genesis Plus GX is where we are. So go in the Gen Plus folder, select ROMs. And since we're in Mega Drive, that means Sega Genesis, and just click that. Now I know it says B to exit, but if you do that, it just takes you out of the root menu. So go ahead and select your ROMs again here. Just hit the home button to exit, guys. I know it says that trigger button, B, but it literally takes you back out of the root menu. So we're going to select Sega CD, the Mega CD, we're going to Master System, 
Select Master System. Game Gear, Game Gear. And the SG-1000. So now we've selected the correct file for each system when we go in there. So now when we click on, let's see, Sega CD, we start Snatcher. And wow, we are playing. And I'm sorry if I went a little fast there, guys. Please leave a comment if it confused you a little bit. Looks like I was flying and I'm doing my narration for the video now. But listen to that sound. That is awesome. Sega CD really had great sound. And their files are huge, but did a lot of full motion video. There were some really bad games with some really good ones, too. I mean, really good. Snatcher's one of them. And it's rare. And I own a physical copy of this. Go ahead and select uh, internal backup RAM. If you're playing this. And there you have it. Snatcher. Hit new game. I think you just go quit. And it starts automatically. Yeah. Kind of weird. So I just went ahead and exited out of here. Let's go play something that's not a role-playing game. I just wanted to show you the sound on that. Pretty awesome. Exit to, well, it looks like I exited to the main menu. You want to hit uh, load game instead of exit to main menu. So we'll go back into the emulator. Homebrew channel, start. It is load game. You hit the home button, you hit load game to go to a different uh, game. Let's go on to Sega Genesis here and play Streets of Rage 3. One of my favorite games for this system, Streets of Rage 3. Love beat em up games. I love that music, man. It's like getting you pumped up, ready for battle. And we'll skip the bomb scene here. Let's go beat some fools up. All right, that's enough of that. I'm getting my ass kicked there. Go ahead and load game, back to load game, and we're going to take it out with the SG-1000 game Hero that I downloaded. I've actually never played this game, but it looks pretty cool for its time, I guess. So, yeah. I'm going to blow myself up with dynamite. So while I figure out how to do this, dynamite the wall. And yep, and the spider kills me. And I guess you save these guys. I'd really just rather blow them up with dynamite. Because this game gets get kind of funky. It's kind of frustrating. But hey guys, thank you for watching so much. Um, sorry if anything was confusing in this video. I stayed up it's about 2 in the morning. I'm just wrapping up this video to get it on the YouTube and keep showing you guys how to emulate. So, um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you're looking to emulate and um, some things we might have to figure out together. But uh, I'll be doing uh, probably Atari next, Vectrex, um, probably Nintendo Don't. For one guy, he wanted to learn how to do the GameCube backup. And uh, I'm going to wrap up this beginner's course and start doing some... Uh, some tougher stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a wonderful night.